Hello, I am Dr. Deepti and we are looking at different concepts from maths under the heading D creations mathematics. We have been looking at the broad topic of linear algebra and in that for the past episodes we have focused on matrices. Of course we have our motto that we do not mug up any definitions, we understand concepts and derive definition from that. Now in this particular episode we will be talking about some types of matrices and also trace. But before we move further let us have a quick recap of whatever we have learned about matrices so far in the previous episodes. So I will only give highlights those who want to see the details can see the previous episodes. So we start with basically what matrices are. So a matrix is an array of elements. So here you can see there are M rows and N columns. So it's M by N matrix. We have seen applications of matrices, be it in physics or be it in higher mathematics or any, there are several applications for your real life as well. So real life applications as one calls it. So you can, have a look at that particular episode to know more details. We had seen different algebraic operations for matrices. So there was addition where corresponding elements were added and example was also solved. There was subtraction where similarly corresponding element from two matrices, it was used for subtraction. There was scalar multiplication where each element in the matrix was multiplied by the scalar. Then there was important concept of matrix multiplication which is based on dot product. So essentially when you have two matrices if you consider row of one matrix and column of the other and if you multiply the corresponding elements or in other words you take the dot product you are able to get one of the elements of the product matrix and you have to continue this process to get all the elements. We understood the uh, summation notation as well for this particular concept. Then of course we understood that it is not commutative, matrix multiplication is not commutative. After that we talked about the concept of transpose, in fact you guessed what transpose meant and we now know that it's basically a flipped version of the origin mat original matrix and the rows and columns are switched. We looked at different examples of where you uh, of transpose where basically you solved it and found out the transpose and we also tried to look at different properties of transpose. So basically that also I remember that you had derived the properties and there are four typical properties associated. So addition of transpose of addition is addition of transpose, transpose of transpose gives original matrix etc. Now after that we come to some to uh, understand some types of matrices. Now I uh, Again, remembering our motto, we would not give the di definition directly. Just look at these matrices carefully and then try to find out what would be the defining rule for each of this type. So you can pause the video, jot down what rule it is according to you and then look at the further video. So by now you must have jotted it down. And as you can see a square matrix, the name itself reveals that there must be equal number of rows and equal number of columns. This is a 2 by 2 matrix but you can just go on for n by n, 15 by 15, any number basically. Now then there is identity or unit matrix. So you can see that it is basically a square matrix but here what is the speciality? All the diagonal elements have one, are one while all the non-diagonal elements are zero. And now again, this is a, this can also be called I2 because it's a two by two identity matrix, but you can have it for any order. 
and now it is clear that if you multiply for example if i multiply this particular matrix with identity matrix what will i get so first one in one two are the elements one zero are the elements here so that will just give me this back similarly if i consider the other combinations essentially when i multiply any matrix with identity matrix or vice versa when i multiply identity matrix with any matrix i get the matrix back and that's why the name identity also there is something called a scalar matrix so here if i multiply this identity matrix with a scalar i will get that particular scalar on all the as all the diagonal elements while all the non diagonal elements will remain to be zero so this is called a scalar matrix now we also want to look at another concept called trace so if i tell you that trace of this matrix is 5 trace of second matrix is 2 trace of third matrix is 10 can you guess what trace will be and i think it's very straightforward trace is basically trace of a square matrix is addition of the diagonal elements So obviously it is defined for square matrix because otherwise how will you define a diagonal and if you recollect we had learned properties of transpose similarly we have properties of trace and they are very straightforward so obviously if you add two matrices and then take its trace it's going to be as good as taking addition of trace of individual matrix or when you take transpose we had seen earlier that for a square matrix the diagonal values remain unchanged so obviously trace is going to remain unchanged now similarly if you have a matrix with scalar multiplication and take its trace you can just take out that particular scalar in common and this is the expression you get an interesting property is trace although the uh, matrices may not be commutative trace of both the matrices which come as a product so for example if a and b are two matrices and if you take its product as ab and the other way ba trace is going to be equal so these are some of the saline properties of trace and we'll stop here for today's episode but in the next episode i'll come with some more interesting concepts thank you